Often people say, win the morning, win the day, early bird gets the worm, wake up, smile, and tell yourself today is my day, and even may every sunrise bring you hope. Hey, what? Are you reading Pinterest quotes again? Um, no, I'm not. Don't be a Karen. Come on. Okay, yes I am, but <laughs> you get the idea. Knew it, you were always reading those freaking Pinterest quotes. What does your morning routine look like at the moment? Morning routine. Morning routine. Morning routine. Morning routine. Morning routines are BS. Morning routines have felt quite impractical. But today, I'm gonna share with you five minimal morning habits that will certainly change your life. And these ones can be done in under 15 minutes and will certainly help you have a successful day. When I use my phone as my alarm, I tend to turn off the alarm and instantly go to checking emails, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Club Penguin, and the next thing you know you have 10 minutes to leave the house. So rather than wasting your time in checking notifications, I like to keep the phone outside of the room and use an old school alarm clock, which annoys my girlfriend every single morning. Special tip here, if you leave it on the other side of the room, you're forced to stand up and turn it off. Now you're up, it's time for habit two. Take a cold shower. While they're far away from enjoyable, the stimulation from cold water hitting the body releases adrenaline, which helps you become more alert, boost the circulation, and increase oxygen to your body, making the cold shower a quick and effective way to wake you up. Cold showers also help to improve your immune system, muscle recovery, and prove to yourself that you still have the power to live. Also, a small tip, if you put your head under the water, it helps you with the cold water. Does that make sense? It helps you stand it longer. Also, a nice step to set you ready for the next phase of your morning routine. After 8 hours of rest, your body and organs need some fresh water to hydrate and get your body back in track. Water aids in both body regulation and brain functionality, and is also closely related to balancing out our moods. Drinking water can help beat the lethargic feeling in the morning by refueling the body. After all, 72% of our body is made out of water. Once you let your bed breathe a few minutes while you shower and drink water, it's time to make it. Letting your bed breathe aids in not letting bacteria accumulate and gets rid of nasty smells from all the farts you blasted during the evening. If you make your bed in the morning, you already accomplished the first task of the day. It's going to give you a sense of pride and it's going to encourage you to do another task. And even if you don't accomplish anything else the rest of the day, at least you're going to come back to a clean bed. The last step is to journal. Journaling is a great mindful practice that helps you focus your thoughts, reduce stress, and can help you achieve your goals. I usually write the things I enjoyed during the day before, the things I did not enjoy, and what I look forward to this day. I used to go to journaling as a way to relieve my thoughts and usually did it only when I was feeling bad. However, I'm slowly trying to integrate it more on my day to day by making it a no brain activity with not too much thoughts on it that require really minimal effort. The less effort it requires, the easier it will be. So that's it for this video. Short one, I think, insightful as well. So if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe and perhaps you might enjoy this video over here. See you in the next one.